Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, he's being awful rough on these PCBs. Well, my response to that would be, I discipline my PCBs how I see fit. And you'll understand one day when you have PCBs of your own. PCB design can be stressful, especially when you have budgets to meet, you have deadlines to meet, you have people who actually want the prototype to work the first time out of the box. So today I'm going to show you my Altium setup to hopefully make the design process that much more convenient. So that way when you sit down you can say, at least my setup is great. This is a Space Mouse, or more commonly referred to as a CAD Mouse. This particular one is made by 3D Connection. It is for use with Solid Edge and solid works and those type of mechanical CAD programs. However, most people do not realize that this type of mouse is great for use in electrical CAD programs, um, especially those of top tier. Um, and I am specifically talking about Easy EDA. Here we are in Altium Designer. And as you can see, I have a blank schematic and a blank PCB loaded up here. So let's just get started. Let's drag a resistor into the environment. Now, in a normal Altium setup, your mouse does all the panning, the zooming, and the movement of the components. So as you can see here, the component moves just fine, but let's say that I'm this close in, I pick up a component. Oh no, I've got to zoom out. So I have to let go of the component, zoom out, figure out where I want to put it, put it there, zoom back in, and then grab it again. And if, and if I have to go over a little bit, I have to hold the right mouse button, move, move, move. If I'm good enough, I can zoom out the mouse wheel while still holding down the component with one hand. I used Altium Designer like this for a pretty good while. And then it got really, really tedious. It, it got a little bit annoying. And so I decided to look for a different solution. And we had an old wired space mouse laying around so I decided to try it so when I plugged it up I discovered this that I could fully manipulate the paper independent of the mouse so let me grab this component and as you can see I'm fully manipulating the paper independent of the actual Altium control so here here's the component right here if I need to place it up in the corner well, look at that. I just zoom up in the corner, and there we go. I need to place it up in the other corner. Zoom out, zoom in, and there we go, right in the other corner. It's quite, it's quite pleasing. It's quite convenient to have this kind of mouse to manipulate the environment away from the actual um, manipulation of the component. Now, just basic controls, left and right is obviously left and right. Diagonal is diagonal. As you move this knob in this plane, so does the paper move in this plane. Same thing works in the PCB document. So if I drag a, if I drag a couple of resistor footprints over here, as you can see, I can still manipulate the environment just like I did the schematic paper. Still grab the components and move them around independent and move the environment around independent of the actual Altium controls. Now here's where this really starts to shine. So let's say I have two resistors at each end of the PCB and there's a bunch of stuff all around here and I need to be able to see where the other connection is. If you have net highlighting, but uh, if you have net highlighting applied, when you click this net, the other one will light up on the other side of the board. Obviously I don't have a schematic right now to get me a net, but just bear with me in imagination. So now I can see, okay, I need to avoid that. I can avoid that component, that component, go around that component, go around this component. And all of a sudden, there I am. And if there's a component, say there's a resistor sitting right here, I can zoom right in. Okay, I need to go around that. If there's a bigger resistor sitting right here, I can go around that. So it's quite nice to be able to manipulate the environment without having to use that same control with the mouse. So now I can fully manipulate the component with the computer mouse and fully manipulate the environment with this mouse without straining myself. So now that moves us on to the third and probably the coolest part of this, which is what this mouse was designed for, was the 3D mechanical part of it. So as you can see, this mouse has two buttons on it on each side. And when you hit these buttons, it pulls up these little option wheels. Um, and you can do, 
let me know if you want me to do an actual 3D Connections um, Space Mouse tutorial, but for right now I'm just showing you for the sake of, of uh, this video. But I have this button configured. One of the options is to go straight into 3D board layout mode. So as you can see, I can fully manipulate, zoom in, zoom out, and fully manipulate the board as need be. So I can zoom in on this resistor, look at this trace. Um, I can zoom in here, zoom in here. So you're looking at a really, really good option, especially for the 3D part. Now, let me explain something to you about the way I have this specific mouse configured. I've played video games for as long as I can remember, and if you play any third-person games, you know that your left joystick is always the environment manipulation. So the way this this mouse is configured by default, if you lose use it in a in a program like SolidWorks or Solid Edge, this manipulates the object. It manipulates the three D object. You you pull the object in, you push the object out, you rotate the object, that kind of thing. And I could I just for the life of me could not wrap my head around that or get used to it because I play view games for so long and I'm so used to manipulating the environment around the video game character. So what I have done with this mouse is I have reversed everything basically. It is completely 180 degrees opposite of what a normal 3D mouse would be. And so now you can see that I'm manipulating the environment around the object instead of actually the object in the environment. This is uh, a little difficult to see in Altium's uh, 3D editor. However, if we were in SolidWorks or Solid Edge, it would be a little easier to see what I'm talking about. But that's just a note. If you do get one of these and you find the learning curve a little hard and you've already used to playing uh, third-person video games to where you manipulate the environment, then it might be worth a try. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I'm not sponsored in any way by 3D Connections. The company I work for has bought this mouse for me to, for me to use in my CAD program. So just a disclosure, I am not sponsored by this company. I truly use this mouse every day and do um, get a whole lot of joy out of using it. It does make designing a whole lot more streamlined and convenient. Now, with this out of the way, next week's video will be about this guy. Some of you may recognize it and some of you may not, but this is the second part of my Altium setup that I will be showing and this has to be one of the coolest pieces of technology I've ever used for any kind of program. So be sure to tune in next week for next week's video. I'm going to show you all about this. So if you enjoyed this video, please comment down below and let me know. Uh, leave a like, share it, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested. I plan on do, I do plan on putting out a lot of content like this. So everyone have a great day and keep designing.